God hears the cries of repentant sinners seeking forgiveness and deliverance. In Jesus' parable of two men in prayer, one man is well pleased with himself, the other has a contrite heart. Hear what our Savior has to say about these two men. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector, the Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified, rather than the other, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Luke 18 10-14. The corrupt tax collector, a Jewish traitor steeped in guilt and sin, approached God with a broken heart and begged for forgiveness. The Pharisee, an esteemed religious leader, saw himself as a shining example of godliness. Of these two men, God only heard the voice of the tax collector. Both men prayed, but only the tax collector truly cried out to the Lord. Scripture does not teach that we are to lift ourselves by our own bootstraps. Rather, we are to go to Him in times of trouble. God cares. He loves us. He stands with us and for us. He delights in coming to our rescue. We may rightly conclude that self-sufficiency is not an attribute of an obedient believer. In times of trouble, we are to cry out to the Lord. Whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Proverbs 28 13